Are you on yet? I think it's just loading. Yes. Hello. Um, good evening. Not sure. Oh, it's I've on. got a ping. I'm just going to put it on my phone so I can say hello. Ah, oh, hiya Trish. Hiya Tom. Nice that I've got some people um, watching with me. Um, thank you. <laughs> Trish, hi. Yeah, it's great. I'll just wait a couple of minutes um, before getting started just to see if anyone else is going to join us. Um, oh, hiya Matt, lovely to see you. Uh, the lounge has had a bit of a tidy in preparation for this this evening. Um, much needed. Hiya Steve, thought your reflection was great um, this morning. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, just want to say a big thanks to Jack and Jenny for Saturday night because they took over right at the last second, not even minute, because I forgot that I was leading the prayer meeting. So thank you, Jack and Jenny. Um, I'm going to make a start because um, I'm sure a couple more people might join in. Hi, Angelica. Um, oh, and Steve, Stephen Bullen, hi. Um, and then I'm sure other people will join in as we go along. Oh, and Sheila, I've just seen you there as well. So that's great. So when I then was preparing for this, I've on and off for the last, I don't know, maybe the last six weeks, eight weeks, maybe maybe longer. It's just like a little paraphrase. Um, where does my help come from? It comes from the Lord. And uh, I've not been able to get away from that sort of phrase just going round but so I just thought right I'll go back to Psalm 121 and I just thought if you've got your Bible um, do you want to get your Bible out um, if you'd like to and if, if you'd like to even read out loud with me we could all do that at the same time um, so um, I'll just give you a minute. So we're going to read from Psalm 121. I'm going to read the whole of it. And before I do, I just want to really commit this time to our Heavenly Father. Father God, we just thank you for this technology. I thank you that we can all be praying, uh, whether we're in this country, this city or in another nation. I just thank you for that. I thank you now for us all together praying. And Father, I just really pray, Lord, that our hearts and our focus and our attention will be settled upon you um, during this time, Lord. Amen. Okay, so I'll read Psalm 121. I look up to the mountains. Does my help come from there? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let you stumble. The one who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord stands beside you as your protective shade. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon at night. The Lord keeps you from all harm and watches over your life. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go, both now and forever. Wow. It's just one huge massive promise this psalm i just think it's absolutely incredible i think the sense of um confidence that comes um from this whole psalm is incredible so when i was thinking about was in terms of prayer i've sort of got three sort of things that i want to get out of this and um, time and 
it's sort of a little bit airing a little bit on like um a personal devotion really and i just felt like for me <laughs> so i hope it's okay for you but i really felt like i need to make some personal responses to some of the scripture in this psalm so the first thing that you know obviously it's just it's massive isn't it you know my help comes from the lord who made heaven and earth and then that verse before where it says i look up to the mountains does my help come from there and um i just really want to give you and me the opportunity to acknowledge or identify or ask holy spirit if there is anything which sort of looks a bit like a mountain um and I suppose what I mean by that for me, what I interpret that to mean is like something that you can grab to reach for help or something that maybe seems more immediate or something <sighs> tangible, maybe tangible in an, in an obvious sense. Um, and I just really felt like it was almost like a re-centering, you know, for me, I need to do that. I think as lockdown's gone on, to be honest, uh, you know, the mountains are much becoming much more appealing, uh, which is obviously not the ideal. So I I just want to give us time now. I'm going to um, pray and you can just see if um, Jesus speaks to you about is there a particular mountain, something within easy reach that you just want to name it in quietness and in prayer. So we'll do that bit first. So, Father, I want to thank you that you are bigger. You are the maker of heaven and earth. Mountains are no comparison to you, Lord. No comparison to your might, your power, creator of heaven and earth. And, Lord, I pray Will you show us now and reveal to us um, if there's a mountain that seems to be like the key thing to help us with, uh, that we would say, oh, yeah, that mountain. Oh, that's great, that mountain. Out the room, Luca, I'm trying to pray. I'm trying to have a meaningful moment here. What is that like? <laughs> yes. So, Father, I just ask, is there something that you would want to speak to each of us about. So I'm just gonna, a little bit of silence just for us to really hear. And I just now want us to declare, to reposition you know, if you want to come alongside me and reposition by faith and confidence, my help comes from the Lord. So should we all say it together? My help comes from the Lord. Just feel like we just need to say it maybe a couple of times. And, you know, why not raise your hand? You know, it's like an indicator. My help comes from the Lord in the name of Jesus I want to declare that to every mountain my Lord the creator of heaven and earth my help comes from him and I want to declare that out right now I want to pray that for anyone in particular who is struggling to turn to the father who's just struggling with wondering where the help, where the intervention is going to come. In the midst of difficulties or challenges, um, all that's gone on in lockdown, business, employment, children, um, all sorts of ways where we might think, what am I going to do? And I'm not saying it's like some magic wand, but I think it's about declaring from a place of faith and confidence and that we want that to be the thing that position is positioned. So, Lord, we pray that I want to pray that for anyone in frontline 
who is just struggling to declare that their help comes from you. Father, I also want to pray for our leaders at Frontline. Father God, they need all your wisdom, all your help to make decisions. Um, they're doing the best that they can in such strange circumstances. Lord, I pray that you'll um, really bless um, John, our senior pastor, Lord. I pray that you will give him wisdom. I pray, Lord, this week as he's in Greece, I pray that you will bless and minister to him as he ministers and gives out as well. And we want to pray for your help for the Greek community. We want to pray for Trisha Malcolm, that whole community. Lord, I pray for your help, Lord. There are some beautiful mountains near there, but Lord, I pray, we want to pray specifically for your help. What it is that you're saying Um not anything else but you lord so amen let's just say it one more time my help comes from the lord amen amen and then the next thing the next verse that really stood out to me was where it says the one who watches over you never slumbers or sleeps and um i've always found that just really comforting and for my close friends who know me I love a good sleep so I am really impressed that my heavenly father can stay awake um, and that he is watching over each one of us how fantastic but you know as I was thinking about that I just felt to pray um, for those who almost feel that being watched over by God is actually at the moment feels like a um, condemning or fearful thing or even a sense of just hiding from talking because you just yeah you're not um, seeing it from a, a place of love and utter affirmation because of what Jesus has done from a total place of love and so I just thought we would declare part of verse five and it's the lord stands besides me as a protective shade he's not pointing his finger he's protecting and so lord we just want to say that again now we want to declare that you are the lord who stands beside me as a protective shade Lord, I want to declare that over everybody in front line. Father, that you are standing close. Lord, we want to say to the lies that you are far away and distant. That is not true. You are close. You stand beside us and you are a protective shade. Lord, yeah, I'm just reading what Tom says there. We can't do it ourselves we're lost without you Jesus and praise God that you are there standing besides us like a protective shade thank you so the thing that I felt that could be suffer through this struggle um, over this this I just really felt God wanted us to pray but um, for a greater um, blessing of intimacy and honesty and the breath of heaven upon us. And I was taking a moment to literally breathe and receive from our Heavenly Father um, to counteract any sense of distance or condemnation or fear. So, Lord, right now, we want to declare that because of what you did, Lord Jesus, on the cross, by the power of your blood, we can run to your throne of grace and mercy. We don't just run, we can run boldly. We can just come. We can just come. 
all condemnation, all fear, all judgment has been torn away. It's been done with and finished and we can come boldly to your throne. And so I declare that over our church. I declare that over our city. I declare that over um, people who don't know you yet, who think, is there a God? People who are asking questions, I declare that over you in the mighty name of Jesus, that you can run to Jesus. So, Father, I just really want to pray that for our city and for our church and for ourselves. I really want to declare that to myself and for each of us this evening. Then the third, oh, Mark, lovely to um, see you watching in Germany. That's fantastic. And um, yeah, just third point. Um, it's in the, I think it's the final, yeah, it's the final verse, verse 8 of Psalm 121. The Lord keeps watch over you as you come and go, both now and forever. I love that. That's just absolutely incredible. And um, I just felt like it would be good to reposition ourselves knowing that our Heavenly Father is watching over us as we come and go now and forever for us to just take a moment to submit all of our activities and plans and just say, Lord, you are watching over our comings and goings we just surrender it to you to lead us so should we do that we just surrender now lord to you our days ahead um our plans our commitments our wish list I just pray, God, now, I just want to resubmit. Just resubmit for you, Lord, as you are watching over every coming and going for each of us, Lord. I just pray, Lord, that you will lead us in our coming and going, Lord. Amen. And then, being a bit selfish here, I'd like to pray particularly for those who are parents over this summer holiday. Uh, I hadn't realised just how much we've benefited from lockdown in terms of school structure, at least having study, things to do. And then just that reality's hit, because uh, mine finished um, over a week ago, um, that, oh, we haven't got our summer camps. Uh, oh, and we're not having a holiday. So it's like, okay, Lord, that's quite a long time with still some restrictions in place. So um, when I was thinking about coming and going this summer, I just thought, I just want to pray for every parent, whether it's a baby, a teenager and everything in between, or somebody that you're looking after um, or having to work and manage with children um, or holidays that have been cancelled or, you know, there's such a mix over this summer holiday. It's uh, it's an absolute one off, hopefully, Lord, please. But Father, I just, Lord, I just ask, Lord, for your grace. Lord, as you watch over each of us in our comings and goings over the summer holidays before September. Father, will you bring pockets of surprises um, sense of community, friendships, play dates? moments of quiet i just ask father god will you provide where it seems impossible um, and lord we just take confidence in knowing that you're right by our side um amen um what time is it i have no idea um oh have I gone on too long? I have. Oh dear. Sorry. Again. Great. Um, for those of you who could join this evening, absolutely fantastic. Thanks for praying. And um, I just really pray that this psalm will minister to you.
great. Thank you.